Maybe you've experienced it yourself. Using the Inibuild A320, you had some issues with steering the aircraft while taxiing. If you were, then this video you're looking for. Let's roll the intro and then let's look at how to fix that. So we're in the cockpit of the A320 and we're ready for taxiing, right? We've just been pushed back to the uh, to the track, right? And well, some of the things which might be really hard using the A320 from INI builds, but also some other aircrafts like the fly-by-wire ones, is steering the aircraft. Because by default, you know that the controller has most likely be configured to only control the rudder. And the rudder right, that's if we go outside the aircraft, that if we go now to the uh, till the aircraft right, if we would now move the rudder, you can see it, I would say it's moving, right? But you can also see, if you're very looking very closely, that the front wheel is moving, but not that sensitive, right? It moves, but it's not, I would say, pretty nice. So to fix that, there are some videos which say, okay, hey, you need to make sure that you're setting up this correct, which is the nose wheel setting. There are some other videos which say, hey, you need to go to the options menu and inside the options menu, you'll find this option, rudder control stiller, and then say yes. In this case, what you would expect that it would work, right? So let's see if it works. So let's go outside the aircraft and you will still see that it doesn't work that nice. So what is the way to fix this issue? Well, to do that, you go to the settings and inside the settings, you go to the controls and you find the controller which you want to use. In this case, the T16000 mic. In that one, you search for wheel. And if you search for wheel, you will find the nose wheel steering axis. So that's the axis which you can use to control the front wheel. Right, so what I did in my case, I reused the one which also assigns to the rudder because you can see a number one over here. So if I would push this button, you can see it has been assigned to the rudder, but also now has been assigned to the nose wheel steering. So if we would now go to the aircraft again and go to the outside and then have a close look at the wheel now, you can see that the nose wheel now moves far more slowly and easily, which makes taxiing a lot easier with this aircraft. So if you're flying this aircraft or one of the other ones, Make sure that you configure the no steering wheel setting for your controller. And in some cases, also you need to switch this one to yes. It has to do with the uh, rudder controls, which if you use those pedals on the ground, then you need to set this to yes. In my case, since I'm using a normal joystick, it wouldn't have any effect. Here ends the video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. And if you're having issues controlling your joystick, let me know because I also want to know what the issues are which you are experiencing so I can create some new videos to help you out. Thanks for watching this one and hope to see you back next time.